Hey Capricorn, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your beginning of December general love reading. Now, keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that everyone's doing well. So Capricorn, when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I heard was Never Be the Same Again by Ghostface Killer featuring Carl Thomas. I will leave the link to that song in the description box below so you can listen to it following the reading if you so choose to. Immediately, I got the message that somebody feels as though they have been hung out too dry emotionally, okay? When I was doing you guys pre-shuffle, you guys had just that card. You had the Major Arcana, the Hangman. So hanging in limbo, you might have... um. Put yourself out there vulnerably because the hangman, he's hanging by multiple chains and he really has no way to get loose or at least that's how he feels. But also you may have literally feel like somebody hung you out to dry. Like somebody. Okay. So here's the thing I'm getting. In the song, he's saying, I'll never be the same again after the things you put me through. And Ghostface Killer is typically known as seeing like this, be like this thug type of guy, someone who's not very emotional, someone who, you know, doesn't show their feelings very easily. So I feel like a lot of you all had that energy, not thug like, but an energy where you're just kind of like, I don't like to express emotions like that because when I do, I feel like I'm being hung out to dry when I'm, I'm being vulnerable. I feel like somebody puts me out there and makes me feel stupid. And that's what I'm getting for a lot of you all. And I feel like I, what I heard is that someone feels very jaded. And I don't agree with holding on to the energy, but I do feel like it's rightfully so that someone does feel like that. That's what I heard. It's right. Someone feels jaded, but rightfully so. Because it's like this person took advantage of your soft spot for them. That's what I'm getting. Somebody took advantage of your soft spot for them. Okay. So let's see what we get for you guys today, Caps. We're going to change the card at the top and the bottom of the deck. And as always, there's absolutely no reversals in either deck. But once I start um, shuffling, if I get reversals, I will read it as such, okay? Now, currently at the bottom of the deck, absolutely, you got the emperor. <laughs> An emperor is someone who's very stubborn, strong-willed. Um, some of you all could be married, okay? Because the, the emperor is one half of a divine counterpart that is a spouse, a companion, a consort, a life partner, Okay. Um, this also resonates with the energy of Aries. So some of you guys could definitely be dealing with an Aries sun sign individual. But more than anything, it's just interesting because I always get this with this card like um, water under the bridge, right? I kind of feel like someone feels a little stupid, but they're willing to like bury the situation or they're able to deal with the situation. But right now in the moment, they may be in their feelings. That could be you or your person. Somebody could be in their feelings. Someone's first, middle, last name could be C-M-H-I-O. Also, you is what I'm getting as well, okay? So, what we're going to do is shuffle the deck up right a couple of times until we get you guys Major Arcana, which would be the um, devil. We'll get the card that comes before, and then we'll get the card that comes after, and then we'll get clarifiers for both, okay? So, let's just part the deck randomly. Wow, the Wheel of Fortune. Destined and faded events coming to culmination, coming to the light. Wow. So you guys are starting off with two major arcana. So this is a major. Ooh, yeah. So there may have been cycles between you and this person. Because if you notice, you have these secular energies here. Um, cycles with you and this person where there was like you being on guard. I, I just keep I'm getting the energy of like them wearing you down. They sometimes somehow they wore you down because I'm just looking at the nuts and bolts of this like you know it's like they they wore you down to the point that you let down your guards at one point you were very strong willed like this lion some of you guys could have a Leo rising because you see how it's at the very top or you could have strong Leo in your chart um you could have been born in the year of the rabbit the year of the lion or the year of the monkey if you're into that, you know, type of astrology, I look at all astrology. I study all cultures, but also that could be a message for some of y'all to look into that because depending on certain years, like what year we're in, that's very prominent for you guys also because it tells about some of the things that's going to come into your reality during those phases. So you may want to look into it. These are very prominent um, times because this rabbit, of course, talks about abundance and fertility. You have strength and um 
productivity and then with the monkey, some damn monkey business. It's not bad, but that's very productive, but it could be some monkey business going on. And I feel like that's how someone feels also like, you know, they trusted someone and they made them look stupid is what I'm getting very strong here. So let's go ahead and shuffle and get your cards. Again, we are looking for the devil as that is your major arcana. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Somebody said, look, I can't make this up. You got the fool card. Now the fool card talks about taking a leap of faith into something new. Also, it's a major arcana, so it's a definite energy. But with the fool, somebody feels like they have been made to look like a fool. You may feel like you jump through hoops for this situation, this relationship, being loyal to this person because dogs talk about trusted companionship and loyalty. So you jump through hoops for this person, trying to be loyal, and you feel like a damn jackass for some of you all. For some of you, you could be dealing with a Gemini because in one hand, he does have a Gemini symbol, also cancer, okay? So I'm going to change this card one more time. And, yeah, and I just said cancer, and then you have the king of cups, so some of you guys could be dealing with a cancer, okay? doesn't have to be. I'm just tossing it out there. So let's go ahead and go through the cards and find your major arcana. Again, we are looking for the devil. Some of y'all can have a nice extensive history with this person because we're halfway through the deck and we don't have your card yet. See, we're halfway through the deck and we still don't have your card. So this could be a situation that you've been dealing with for a while. I also feel like for a while, you could have been having a hard time being emotionally vulnerable and this person was able to kind of break down that wall. And so that's why the pain or the feeling is so prominent and so strong. Wow. We're all the way towards the back of the deck and we still don't have your card. Wow. You guys are at the very back. So I'm also going to tell you with this being the case. Okay, I, I, I'm being guided to take this card at the front, yeah, the one in front of it, and then where we stopped at right here. Okay, so I'm going to tell you what I'm getting. With you coming at the very back of the deck, you may have always put yourself last in this relationship to a person who's emotionally manipulative. Because the King of Cups, Kings and Queens hold positions of hierarchy and power. They hold very prominent positions in people's lives. And then you have the Five of Cups, sadness, sorrow, grief, depression, you know, ready to throw in a towel, wave the red flag, white flag, whatever, okay? Some of you all could feel like you were emotionally manipulated in this situation. And I know that also because even though this is your card, if you see right here, this helmet is over his eyes, so you can't see his eyes. So you can't see this person's intentions, whether they're pure or not. And someone feels as though someone's intentions was not pure. A lot of you all can have strong water placements in your chart also. Again, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or you can be dealing with someone who has those placements, okay? So let's go ahead and get some clarifiers for the King of Cups as well as the Five of Cups. Bottom of the deck, you have the Nine of Pentacles. This is you guys' energy also. Single woman, single man. Some of you all are newly single. I'm feeling newly single, okay? And then for others, you may be contemplating being single because this is definitely like some type of sorrow because of a breakup or some type of emotional distress here, right? So let's part the deck so we can shuffle. Yeah, wow. So you got two nines. Something could have went down in September for some of you all and they're facing each other. Even though she's not looking at this nine of swords, she's facing the direction of the nine of swords. So something definitely could have happened in September. Some of you all could be dealing with a September Virgo. But more than anything, the nine of swords, sleepless nights, anxiety, worry, fear. I, I'm going to say again, like, someone feels as though they let down their guards and now they feel embarrassed about something also. Can you see how he's covering his face? Like, someone feels embarrassed about something, something that was said or something that they said. Because swords is communication and mental. Let's see. Again, clarifier for the king of cups, as well as the five of cups. A lot of emotional stuff, because both of you, yeah. Something that caused some type of eruption, some type of chaos, some type of arguments and disagreements, okay? Because you have the tower. That's a definite ending of some sort and something that catches you off of guard like you're not expecting that to happen because no one knows the exact time and hour that the tower is going to hit, but it's definitely something that hit because that's major arcana, so that's definite energy. So something could have also happened in Scorpio season because this is Aries, also Scorpio energy. And keep in mind, the very beginning, your very first card was the Emperor was Aries. So for some of y'all, you're definitely dealing with Aries or Scorpio because you do have the King of Cups here and the Five of Cups. So Cancer, Scorpio, very strong here so far. Look at that. Just as I said that, you got a death card. So there's a definite ending 
or an impending ending or there something ended and someone wants to come back with a tower in reverse. The death card is a death and rebirth. Someone could come back or say that they've changed their ways. Um, you could definitely have children or a child with this person. Okay. Again, Scorpio energy. You got two strong major icons with Scorpio energy. So something definitely shifted in Scorpio season for a lot of you all. Bottom of the deck. So someone is not leaving because you already have the tower in reverse and then you have the six of swords in reverse. Six of swords are right. It's moving away from something, going in a different direction. In reverse, someone's not leaving. I feel I, I do feel like there's an energy, an era of emotional manipulation. Remember with that nine of pentacles, I felt like somebody wanted to leave or wanted to become single. But I feel like somebody may use emotional, emotionally manipulative tactics to regain some type of mm, some type of um footing with you. Or vice versa. You got the judgment card in reverse up under it. Wow, the hermit. You got two major icons in reverse. So the hermit, Virgo, and then you got some more Scorpio energy here. Um, two major icons in reverse. Someone has not seen the light, or someone is not on their desired path, or they feel like reconciliation with someone is not their ideal situation. Okay, because this is how it would come, right? And any card that a major icon comes with, the major icon trumps it. So again, this person feels like they're being emotionally manipulative or like they have some type of power over you. I feel like you all are not accepting it anymore or they're not accepting it. Put it how it applies in your situation, okay? So let's get a clarify. Look, yeah, somebody's found out the truth or somebody's standing in their power. Ace of Swords, truth, clarity, knowledge, wisdom, and victory, okay? So let's get a clarifier for, ooh, okay. I just heard off of his head. You see how he has on a, um, his crown right here is right on the tip of the sword. Like somebody's cutting somebody off at the head. Not literally, but somebody's cutting the situation. Yeah, ooh. So like I said, with that song, listen to the lyrics and what he's saying. Like he's saying he literally put his neck out on the line. That's why I said I'm here like off with their head. They cut you off by the neck. And somebody's like, yeah, nah, I'm not going to be able to reconcile with you because you really put me out here bogus. And I'm. it's time for me to stand on my own too. I feel like it has to do with some type of communication. Like somebody may have exposed something that they, or put something out there that they shouldn't have said to someone. Because again, you got source, communication, and mental. And that's a big source. So somebody told something major that made someone embarrassed or made someone feel hurt because they felt like it should have just stayed between the two of them. There's some hurt there. Let's get a clarifier for you. Yeah, ooh, possibly even speaking to an ex about situations between you two. Man, look, look, you guys seeing this, right? Fucking five of wands, conflict, arguments, disagreements, too many people involved. And like I said, I feel like somebody may have spoken to an ex. Ooh, King of Wands, Leo says Aries. Okay, look at that. He's watching all the conflict and drama. And you got two fives right here. All the fives are like calamitous energy, combustive, uh, chaos, just chaos. And I literally was saying like, <laughs> you are watching this, right? Someone may have found out with the Ace of Swords that... Someone went and told an ex about conflicts and arguments and disagreements that they're having with you or you, them. And it caused someone to feel hurt and feel stupid. Like, you know, why would you go back and talk to this person or someone? It doesn't have to be an ex, but I am getting strong ex energy. Could it even be family members and things like that talking about you guys relationship or business behind your back and you didn't know about it. But I feel like you're going to find out with the Ace of Swords. I want to show you this also. You see, I'm not even touching this deck. You got both of these. This is your clarifying card, and this was at the very top of the deck. There's chaos and, and conflict here. You already had the tower, chaos and conflict. There's something that someone did that made you feel betrayed that caused some type of chaos and conflict or will, but I feel like it did for some of you already because he's already on his knees and sad about a situation, and he's either praying on a situation, trying to get some type of guidance from the universe, or... He's saying, I give up. I'm done with this. You see how he has his flag? And even though it's not a white flag, he has his flag. Like, he's ready to drive the base of it into the ground. Like, stick a fork in me. I'm done is what I'm getting right there also. Okay? Mm. So, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.